today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a couple of Kaldheim pre-release packs. So it's January 29th, 2021, and it's the pre-release weekend. Can't wait to get stuck into it. So a nice packaging design here. Stay tuned, we'll be getting stuck into some booster boxes. And then next weekend will be the bundles, collector packs, theme boosters and a whole bunch of other stuff, so stay tuned. All right, okay, so this is a little disappointing. We do not get a fancy spin down. Uh, I think they were originally saying you would get one of those, but I guess they had to issue a correction. All right, so let's go for a lucky seven. No, nope, not lucky, all right. So we will put the code and the Extra foil over there. Six packs of goodness. Let's get into it. And the uh, prices are actually from January 29th, 2021. So they will most likely change by the time you see this video. Alright, uh, it's boost sliding there. We have Berg Strider, Giant Wizard, very cool. Craven Hulk, Goldmore Champion, Mists of Litjara. Rot Recruiter, Jaspera Sentinel Vault Robber, Feed the Serpent, Giant Ox, and then the Uncommons we get the Trickster God's Heist, so this is one of these Enchantment Sagas, so nice artwork on that one, Vega the Watcher, Kaya's Onslaught, and the rare is Righteous Valkyrie, Creature Angel Cleric, 2-4 for 3 with flying whenever another angel or cleric enters bad foot under your control you gain life equal to that creature's toughness as long as you have at least 7 life more than your staying life total creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2 good deal oh nice one snow covered island and a foil cinder heart giant along with a human warrior token and anything commander cube and everything in between all right on to the next so, so far, um, I would probably be leaning towards a white deck, but traditionally I go after red and black. Okay, Miss of Lichara, Hadji Mob, Creature Troll Berserker, Master Scold, Drogo Thought Thief, Guardian Glade Walker, Shapeshifter. Okay, interesting with Changeling, Skull Raid. <laughs> I love that artwork. Augury Raven, Arachniform. Demon Bolt, Code Spell Cleric, and the Uncommon's Rune of Mortality. Okay, so runes are a thing here. So you can give your permanent death touch. Rootless You, so some tree folk there. Svela Ice Shaper, legendary snow creature. Troll Warrior, we have been trolled again. And the rare is Reckless Crew. So it's a sorcery for four. Create X, two one red dwarf berserker creature tokens. Where X is the number of vehicles you control, plus the number of equipment you control for each of those tokens you may attach an equipment you control to it. Interesting. Highland Forest. Okay, so a dual colored land there. On to the next one. So is anyone taking part in pre-release this weekend? Uh, in our part of the world, things are still closed up, so the tournaments are not allowed to go ahead, but hopefully soon, hopefully by the next set or two, Okay, we've got the Trolls again, the Hadji Mob, Master Scald, Disdainful Stroke, Priest of the Haunted Edge, Zombie Cleric, Guardian Glade Walker, Struggle for Skimfar, and Null. Ravenous Lindworm, okay, so we do have worms, that's some cool artwork as well. Squash, <laughs> Raiders Carve, Uncommons, Harold, King of Skimfar, Blizzard Brawl, Skimfa, Elder Hall, and a Mythic, yes! Starnheim Unleashed, Sorcery for 4, create a 4-4 four, four White Angel Warrior Creature Token with Flying and Vigilance. If the spell was foretold, create X of those tokens instead, okay. So this is one of those things I might be leaning towards White for sure. Okay, so we've got a Mythic there. Snow-covered forest, love the artwork, and one of these. I'm wondering if the... Uh, Background picture there, if you can put them together, let me know if you've heard anything about that. 
And the other day we actually opened 50 plus packs in MTG Arena. If you missed that video, I'll check a link in the corner. Looking forward to brewing up some deck goodness. Next pack we have Run Amok, Wings of the Cosmos, Brian Barrow Intruder, Glittering Frost, loving the artwork here, Grim Draugr, Zombie Berserker, Raven Wings, Struggle for Skemfar, and Null. Ravenous Lindworm, there he is again. So we've got two of these worms, but he's a top end creature, so I wouldn't necessarily build around him. Squash. And Uncommon's Frenzied Raider, Vengeful Reaper. Very cool. Angel Cleric, Bretagard, Stronghold. And John, God of Winter, Legendary Snow Creature God, 3-3 three, three for 3. Whenever John attacks, untap each snow permanent you control. And on the other side, we've got Kaldring the Rhyme Staff, Legendary Snow Artifact for 3. Almost looks like a misprint there, but I think that's intentional. You may play target snow permanent card from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters battlefield tapped. Okay, so those dual face cards are always nice to have. Volatile Fjord and Tyvar Kel Emblem. All right, so two packs left. Still leaning towards white, which is unusual for me, but we'll see uh, what else we get here. Breakneck Berserker, Warhorn Blast, Brian Barrow Intruder, Ordafang Disciple, Mammoth Growth, Augury Raven Arachniform, Gold Vein Pick, okay, pumping the creatures again, Demon Bolt, Return Upon the Tide for the Uncommons, that's some cool artwork on that one, Fall of the Imposter, Poison the Cup, this looks a little bit like something out of uh, Arm and Cat, I think the uh, thing around the neck there makes it like that, and the rare Immersturm Predator, Creature Vampire Dragon, what? We have a new contender here, people, 3-3 three, three for 4, with flying whenever Immerstone Predator becomes tucked decks, so I'll up to one target card from Graveyard and put a plus one plus one counter on Immerstone Predator. And if you sacrifice another creature, Immerstone Predator gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. Okay, so this is one of those. I would be highly tempted to build around that guy. Rhymewood Falls and a Foil Demonic Gifts. Okay, and Replicated Ring. This looks a, bit, a little bit like something out of flesh and blood. That new TCG, what do you think of that one? Actually, we've done a couple of videos of that already. I'll chuck a link in the corner, including a first edition Crucible of War. So you can check that out. Final pack here, Litjara Kinseekers, Cinderheart Giant, Doomscar Oracle, Dread Rider. King Harold's Revenge, Raider's Carve, Squash, Grizzled Outrider, Bind the Monster, Starnheim Corsa, and Uncommon's Rune of Sustenance, Finn the Fangbearer, Axeguard Armory, and the rare is Graven Law, Snow Instant for 5, Scry X, where X is the man of snow mana, spent to cast a spell, then draw 3 cards. And a snow-covered swamp, and another blank card. Okay, let's get into the rest of the stuff here. So I should have actually looked at this at the beginning, but I was so eager to get into the pack. So you get this little flyer here, Kaldheim, and tells you about how to build your deck. Number of creatures, spells, mana curve, and land. So always a helpful tip card there. We also get a nice divider, okay. And let's see the promo foil here. What did we get? Let's check it out. It is, oh, no way. Foil the world tree, ding, 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 ding. Okay, so there's a jackpot pool right there. Okay, and uh, probably not terribly useful for a pre-release deck, but you know what? I love this foilage. Okay, so let's get that gear out of the way. So we've got one Mythic out of that. So, like I said, I would probably build around the Dragon. Okay, so let's get into the next one and keep your eyes peeled for codes. So you can actually unlock a bunch of packs, I think it is, in uh, MTG Arena. So if you blinked, you might have missed it. 
Let's see. All right, rolling lucky seven. No. All right, never mind. So pop that down there. Nothing else in the box. Carefully set that aside onto the second one. All right, so what are we going to find in here? Let's see. We've got Hadji Mob, Master Skull, Drogo Thought Thief, Demonic Gifts, Snakeskin Veil. Oh, that's cool. Gold Vein Pick, Way Down, Frost Bright. <laughs> I like how it's literally getting bitten by the creature there. Augury, Raven, Colossal Plow. Yes, there is a plow vehicle in Kaldheim. Herald, King of Skemfar, Fool of the Imposter, and Search for Glory. Okay, so Snow Sorcery for three. Switch your library for a snow permanent card, legendary card, or a saga card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. You gain one life for each snow mana spent to cast this spell. And then Ice Tunnel, interesting. Foil Shackles of Treachery and a ad card. I wonder if we'll come across this guy. So we're looking for the Tybalt. Or uh, he also has another name, Valky, I think is what it's called. Let's take, take a look here. Pilfering Hawk, Tormentor's Helm. Beskir Shieldmate, Carfell Harbinger, Grim Draugr, Zombie Berserker. Notvold Recluse, Shackles of Treachery, Elderleaf Mentor, Frostbite, there it is again, Raven Form, Uncommons, Curders, Vicious Return, nice, okay, so that would be tempting, one of these uh, enchantment sagas, Dwarven Hammer, ooh, Inga Rune Eyes, check it out, Showcase Border, these actually look better in person, uh, than when they were doing these spoilers, I think. And the rare. Oh, another nice one. Burgi, God of Storytelling. 3-3 three, three for 3. Whenever you cast spell, add red until end of turn. You don't lose this mana. As steps and phases and creature control can boast twice during each of your turns rather than once. Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for boasting cards here. On the other side, you've got Harnfell, Horn of Bounty. Legendary Artifact for 5. Discard a card. That's all the top 2 cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. So if you draw this card, you can really pick which one you cast. So that's pretty handy. Rhymewood Falls and a Replicated Ring. Okay. So halfway through here, maybe I'd lean towards red at this point. Run amok. Brian Barrow Intruder with a crown. Amazing artwork there. Broken Wings. Carfil Kennel Master. Stalwart Valkyrie. Mistwalker. Infernal Pet. What's this? Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put a plus one, plus one cannon on Infernal Pet and again it's flying until end of turn. This is the sort of card you would put in your deck just to annoy people in pre-release. Shimmer Drift Veil. Dusk Wilder. Because yeah, uh, flyers are kings of pre-release quite often. Spirit of the Older Guard. Nafi Betrayer King. Loving the artwork here. A Showcase Vega the Watcher, and the rare is Sarulth Realm Eater. Legendary Creature Wolf 3-3 three, three for 3. So whenever a permanent and opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Sarulth Realm Eater at the beginning of your upkeep. If Sarulth has one or more plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, you may remove all of them. If you do exile each other non-land permanent with convert a mana cost less than or equal to the number of counters removed this way. So very much uh, borrowing from the Norse myths there. Snow-covered forest. And a Dwarf Berserker! Fantastic! That's something maybe I would build a deck around just uh, to use that token, but you would have to uh, see if you get the token generator first. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Axe Guard Cavalry, Dwarf Berserker, God's Hall Guardian, Strategic Planning, Death Knell Berserker. Lots of Berserkers here. Horizon Seeker, Roots of Wisdom, Smashing success! Carfell Kennelmaster, Stalwart Valkyrie, Mistwalker. Ruined Crown for the Uncommons. Rune of Mortality, Rootless You. So we've got some tree folk here. And the rare is Tundra Fumeral. Snow Sorcery for three. Deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. Add colorless mana for each snow mana spent to cast a spell until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Snow-covered swamp and one of these. All right, two more packs to crack. 
And then we'll take a look at that foil there. Promo foil, we've got Undersea Invader. Seize the spoils. Battlefield Raptor, Comas Faithful. Horizon Seeker, Invoke the Divine. Seraph's Packmate. Drowl of the Forsaken, Zombie Cleric. Open the Omen Path, Sirius Tybalt. Raven Wings, and Nafi Betrayer King. That is some badass artwork right there. Looks like a heavy metal album cover. Spirit of the Older Guard, Clarion Spirit, and oh, nice one. A borderless Bark Channel Pathway. Tap it for green. On the other side, tap it for blue. Nice. Look at that. Snow Covered Island and Treasure Token. Okay, final pack magic here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, we've got the Breakneck Berserker, Warhorn Blast, Jaspera Sentinel, Village Rites. Ooh, nice artwork on that one. Frost Peak Yeti, Invoke the Divine, Seraph's Packmate. Jarl of the Forsaken. I think we saw that guy earlier open the Omen Paths. Cardo's Vicious Return. Inga Runai's Ruined Crown. And it is the Bears of Litjara. So what is all this about? So Saga, first turn. Create a 2-2 two -two Blues Shapeshifter Creature Token with Changeling. Second turn, any number of target Shapeshifter Creatures you control. The base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four, or... Choose up to one target creature or planeswalker. Each creature with power 4 or greater control you control deals damage equal to its power to that permanent. So that's on the third turn. All right. And an ice tunnel. And a foil rare. Nice one. Kusima, god of the voyage. Legendary creature god 2, 4, for 3. Beginning of your upkeep. You may exile Kusima if you do it. Gains whenever a land is made for under your control. If it's exiled, you may put a voyage counter on it. If you don't return Kusima to the battlefield with X, plus 1, plus 1 counters on it. And draw X cards where X is the number of voyage counters on it. So I like how it uh, goes off on a voyage, gets some experience, and comes back. The Omen Keel on the other side. Legendary Artifact Vehicle 332. Whenever a vehicle you control does come out damage to a player, that player exiles that many cards from on top of their library. You may play lands from among those cards for as long as they remain exiled. Crew it for one. All right. And another Dwarf Berserker. Okay, so let's check out here. What is the promo and what did you pull in your pre-release packs? Anything tasty? Did anyone get any mythic promos? Let me know. It is Skimfar Avenger. Creature Elf Berserker 3-1 for 2 whenever another non-token elf or Berserker you control dies. You draw a card and you lose one life. Fantastic. So there we have it. What would you build out of either of these pre-release decks? Let me know. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.